Pacific Air Forces PACAF is a major command of the United States Air Force and is also the Air Component Command of the United States Indo-Pacific Command PACAF is headquartered at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, former Hickam AFB, Hawaii, and is one of two USAF MAJCOMs assigned outside the continental United States, the other being the United States Air Forces in Europe, Air Forces Africa. Over the past 65 plus years, PACAF has been engaged in combat during the Korean and Vietnam Wars and Operations Desert Storm, Southern Watch, Northern Watch, Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. The mission of Pacific Air Forces is to provide ready air and space power to promote U.S. interests in the Asia-Pacific region during peacetime, through crisis, and in war. PACAF organizes, trains, and equips the 45,000 total force personnel of the regular Air Force, the Air Force Reserve and the Air National Guard with the tools necessary to support the commander of United States Indo-Pacific Command. PACAF comprises three numbered air forces, nine main bases and nearly 375 aircraft. The command's area of responsibility extends from the west coast of the United States to the east coast of Asia and from the Arctic to the Antarctic, more than 100 million square miles 260 million square kilometers. The area is home to nearly 2 billion people who live in 44 countries. History Topic. Far East Air Forces Not to be confused with Far East Air Force United States, the military aviation organization of the United States Army in the Philippine Islands from 1941 to 1942, the beginnings of PACAF can be traced back to June 1944, when Major General St. Clair Street's 13th Air Force was added to Allied Air Forces, Southwest Pacific Area. At approximately the same time, Lieutenant General George Kenney created the Far East Air Forces FEAF from his 5th Air Force headquarters, while the Advanced Echelon became the 5th Air Force under Major General Ennis Whitehead Sr. The RAF also formed the Australian 1st Tactical Air Force under Air Commodore Harry Cobby in October 1944, and when General Douglas MacArthur became commander of all Army forces in the Pacific, the 7th Air Force Force was added as well. Far East Air Forces FEAF was activated on the 3rd of August 1944 at Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. FEAF provisional had actually been created on the 15th of June 1944 and 5th Air Force assigned to it. FEAF was subordinate to the U.S. Army Forces Far East and served as the headquarters of Allied Air Forces Southwest Pacific Area. The creation of FEAF consolidated the command and control authority over United States Army Air Forces USAAF units widely deployed throughout the Southwest Pacific in World War II. On the 15th of June 1945, Fifth Air Force, Clark Field, Luzon, Philippines, Seventh Air Force. Force, Hickam Field, Hawaii, USA, and 13th Air Force, Clark Field, Luzon, Philippines were assigned to FEAF to support combat operations in the Pacific. With the end of World War II in September 1945, the USAAF found its units deployed throughout the Pacific, from Hawaii to India, from Japan to Australia, and based on a hundred island airstrips, along with bases in China and Burma. A realignment of these forces was needed by the USAAF to better organize its forces in the Pacific for peacetime. On 6 December 1945, Far East Air Forces was redesignated Pacific Air Command, United States Army and its air forces were redeployed as follows. 
5th Air Force, assigned to Tokyo, Japan primary mission performing Allied occupational assistance on the Japanese home islands and the Korean Peninsula, 7th Air Force, assigned to Hickam Field, Hawaii returning to its pre-war mission for the defense of the Hawaiian Islands, including Midway Island, the Marshall Islands and other Central Pacific Islands. 8th Air Force, assigned to Kadena Army Air Base, Okinawa defense of the Ryukyu Islands, including Iwo Jima 13th Air Force, assigned to Clark Field, Philippines defense of the Philippines, New Guinea and the Solomon Islands 20th Air Force, assigned to Harmon Field, Guam, Mariana Islands reassigned to PAC USA 6 December 1945, provided a strategic deterrent for the entire Western Pacific region with this realignment and reassignment of forces, PAC USA controlled and commanded all United States Army Air Forces in the Far East and Southwest Pacific, and all air forces were placed under one Air Force commander for the first time. In November 1945, the 509th Composite Group left North Field on the island of Tinian and was reassigned to Roswell Army Air Field, New Mexico, taking the atomic bomb delivery capability of PAC USA to the United States. Shortly afterwards, 8th Air Force was reassigned to the newly established Strategic Air Command on 7 June 1946 and its strategic units reassigned to the 1st Bombardment Division. The major mission of PAC USA in the post-war years 1946 to 1950 was occupation duty in Japan and the demilitarization of the Japanese society in conjunction with the United States Army. In addition, PAC USA helped to support atomic bomb testing in the Pacific Proving Grounds beginning with the Operation Crossroads test on Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands in 1946. With the impending establishment of the United States Air Force as an independent service later that year, PAC USA was redesignated Far East Air Forces on 1 January 1947. On that same date, 7th Air Force in Hawaii was inactivated with its organization absorbed by HQ, FEAF. USAF established Coinciding with the establishment of the United States Air Force USAF, as an independent service in September 1947, PAC USA, FEAF deployments to Korea prior to the 1948 partition of the country helped in the establishment of the Republic of Korea e.g., South Korea, along with the transfer of surplus military equipment and other aid to French Indochina as well as aid to the nationalist Chinese during the Chinese Civil War which resumed after the end of World War II 1945–1949. Korean War On 25 June 1950, the armed forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea e.g., North Korea invaded South Korea. On 27 June, the United Nations Security Council voted to assist the South Koreans in resisting the invasion. President Harry Truman authorized General of the Army Douglas MacArthur commander of the U.S. occupying forces in Japan to commit units to the battle. MacArthur ordered General George E. Stratemeyer, CIC of FEAF, to attack attacking North Korean forces between the front lines and the 38th parallel. <laughs> <laughs> Order of battle, June 1950 Despite the post-World War II demobilization of United States armed forces, the U.S. Air Force still had substantial forces in the Pacific to oppose the North Korean military. When the North Koreans crossed the 38th parallel on 25 June 1950, FEAF consisted of the following primary units asterisk 
At that time, the combat units of the FEAF were equipped with the Lockheed F-80 Shooting Star Jet Fighter, the North American F-82 Twin Mustang All-Weather Escort Fighter, the Douglas B-26 Invader Light Attack Bomber, the Lockheed RF-80A Shooting Star Tactical Reconnaissance Aircraft, and the Boeing B-29 Superfortress Heavy Bomber. Support units were equipped with the Douglas C-54 Skymaster cargo aircraft and the Boeing RB-17 Flying Fortress, a former heavy bomber converted to photo mapping duties. FEAF personnel also trained, supported and flew with the fledgling Republic of Korea Air Force ROKAF under the BOUT-1 project, primarily operating excess World War II vintage F-51D Mustang fighter aircraft transferred from USAF inventory, remarked with ROKAF insignia, and operated in interdiction, ground attack and close air support roles, asterisk elements of the 2D and 3D air rescue squad squadrons, attached to FEAF by the Military Air Transport Service MATS, were located at various bases where they could best perform emergency rescue services with their SB-17 flying fortresses. The 512th and 514th Weather Reconnaissance Squadrons of the 2143D Air Weather Wing were located at Yokota Air Base, Japan, and Anderson Air Force Base, Guam. All USAF units engaged in combat during the Korean War were under the overall command of Far East Air Forces. Asterisk, asterisk, the 31st Photo Reconnaissance Squadron was a strategic air command unit, attached to FEAF for operations. On 29 June 1950, the unit began flying combat missions over the Korean Peninsula in their RB-29 Superfortresses to provide FEAF Bomber Command with target and bomb damage assessment photography. In response to the threat posed by the introduction of Soviet-built and often Soviet-manned MiG-15 jet fighters into the Korean People's Air Force KPAF, USAF F-80 and F-82 units were later re-equipped with the North American F-86 Sabre jet fighter between December 1951 and spring 1953. Eventually, these USAF F-86 units would establish a kill ratio of 10 to 1 versus their KPAF adversaries. During the Korean War 1950 to 1953, alongside the U.S. Navy and small Allied contingents, FEAF's 5th Air Force bore the brunt of the coalition air combat operations. Topic. Cold War With the 1953 Korean armistice, the deployed SAC and TAC units to Japan and Korea were gradually withdrawn, and returned to the United States. 20th Air Force was inactivated on 1 March 1955, leaving FEAF with two air forces, the 5th in Japan and the 13th in the Philippines, although units were maintained on Guam and Okinawa. Topic. PACAF established On 1 July 1954, Pacific Air Force was activated at Hickam Air Force Base, territory of Hawaii, and assigned to Far East Air Forces which was headquartered in Japan. Pacific Air Force at Hickam functioned primarily as the Air Force staff component and planning element of U.S. Pacific Command. On 1 July 1956, Pacific Air Force was redesignated Pacific Air Force, FEAF rear. Headquarters FEAF began preparations to move from Japan to Hawaii. Smith assumed additional responsibilities as Deputy Commander, Far East Air Forces. 
This was followed on 1 July 1957 with United States Far East Air Forces being redesignated as Pacific Air Forces and transferring its headquarters to Hickam AFB, Territory of Hawaii. Tensions between the Communist Chinese on the mainland and the Nationalist Chinese on Taiwan dominated FEAF and PACAF during the mid and late 1950s. The 1954 and 1958 Taiwan Strait Crisis both threatened to break out into a war, and USAF F 104C fighter squadrons were deployed to Kung Quan Air Base on Taiwan in 1958. The question of Matsuan Kwemoi became an issue in the 1960 American presidential election when Richard Nixon accused John F. Kennedy of being unwilling to commit to using nuclear weapons if the People's Republic of China invaded the nationalist outposts. By 1960, PACAF maintained a combat ready deterrent force of some 35 squadrons, operating from 10 major bases in a half dozen countries. Vietnam War In the early 1960s, communist military strength and firepower in Vietnam increased. As a result, PACAF began a build-up in the area with the addition of troops and better arms and equipment. In response to what has become known as the Gulf of Tonkin incident in 1964, Tactical Air Command TAC pilots, navigators and support personnel found themselves deployed from the CONUS to PACAF bases such as Da Nang Air Base and Phan Rang AB in South Vietnam, Takli Royal Thai Air Force Base and Korat Royal Thai Air Force Base in Thailand were also used by deployed TAC fighter squadrons, as the American effort in South Southeast Asia increased, TAC permanently reassigned entire wings of aircraft from CONUS bases to PACAF and increased the number of rotated tactical fighter and reconnaissance squadrons on rotating temporary duty commitments to PACAF bases in Vietnam and Thailand, along with units to South Korea, Japan and the Philippines. On a daily basis, flight crews would hurl themselves and their planes at targets across the area of operations over the skies of North and South Vietnam. At the height of the Vietnam War, 1968, PACAF commanded forces at major air bases in the following countries: Japan, 5th Air Force; South Korea, 5th Air Force; Philippines, 13th Air Force. Taiwan 13th Air Force South Vietnam 7th Air Force Thailand 7th 13th Air Force In 1962 PACAF activated the 2D Air Division to be the main warfighting organization in South Vietnam as the conflict escalated, 7th Air Force was activated on 1 April 1966, replacing 2D Air Force. PACAF units in Thailand were under the command of 13th Air Force beginning in 1964, then in 1973 a joint 7th, 13th Air Force headquarters was established in Bangkok to direct PACAF forces in Thailand operating in Indochina until 15 August 1973, and Thailand until the final USAF withdrawal from Southeast Asia in the beginning of 1976. For the PACAF Order of Battle in South Vietnam For the PACAF Order of Battle in Thailand By 1970, direct PACAF involvement the war was winding down as the conflict was being increasingly turned over to the South Vietnamese under the process known as Vietnamization. Units from the Republic of Vietnam Air Force VNAF took on more and more combat to defend their nation while PACAF tactical air strength was being reduced as several air bases were turned over to the VNAF. Combat aircraft of PACAF flew their last strikes in Cambodia 15 August 1973, writing the final chapter to the long and costly history of active American participation in the Indochina War. 
The Paris Peace Accords of 1973 ended PACAF's use of South Vietnamese bases, and by 1976 bases in Thailand were turned over to the Thai government. In 1979, normalization of relations with the People's Republic of China also led to the withdrawal of PACAF personnel from Ching Shuan Kang Air Base, Republic of China Taiwan. <laughs> Post-Cold War the post-Vietnam era found the command focusing on improving its readiness and PACAF's organizational structure saw a marked period of rapid and extensive changes. Inactivated at the end of the Vietnam War in 1975, 7th Air Force was reactivated at Osan Air Base, South Korea in 1986 to take over 5th Air Force activities in South Korea. Also in 1986, the Goldwater-Nichols Act reworked the overall command structure of the United States military. With the creation of Unified Combatant Commands UCC organized either on a geographical basis known as Area of Responsibility AOR or on a functional basis, Pacific Air Forces became a part of the United States Pacific Command USPACOM. Anderson AFB in Guam was reassigned from Strategic Air Command to PACAF in 1989, and 11th Air Force became a part of the command in late 1990. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, civil unrest in the Philippines and negotiations with the extant government of the Republic of the Philippines for the lease of Clark Air Base, along with other U.S. military installations in the Philippines, had reached an impasse. However, following the volcanic eruption of Mount Pinatubo, the resultant damage to Clark AB, and with a post-Cold War desire by the U.S. government to reduce defense spending, Clark AB was closed and 13th Air Force relocated in 1991. In 1992, changes took place in force structure within PACAF as the command assumed control of theater-based tactical airlift wings, theater C-130 aircraft and crews, and associated theater C-130 support following the disestablishment of Military Airlift Command MAC. PACAF also gained control of all operational support aircraft and all aeromedical airlift assets in the Pacific previously under the cognizance of MAC. With the concurrent disestablishment of Strategic Air Command and Tactical Air Command the same year, PACAF also assumed responsibility for all active KC-135 aerial refueling aircraft based in Hawaii and Japan, gaining command responsibility for all Air National Guard KC-135 aircraft in Hawaii and Alaska, and all E-3AWACS aircraft in Japan and Alaska. Throughout its history PACAF has played a vital role in world events. In addition to its key combat role in World War II, Korea and Vietnam, PACAF units fought in Desert Storm in 1991 and continued to deploy to Saudi Arabia, Turkey and Italy for peacekeeping operations such as Operation Southern Watch and Operation Northern Watch. PACAF provided its expertise, aircraft, personnel and equipment to facilitate the new Expeditionary Air Force, especially as it applied to successful airbridge operations spanning the vast Pacific Ocean. Following the 11th of September 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States, PACAF again demonstrated its intrepid spirit through its units deployed in support of Operation Noble Eagle, Operation Enduring Freedom, and in 2003, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Since 1944, the command has also participated in more than 140 humanitarian operations within its area of responsibility and beyond. 
In these operations PACAF people quickly and efficiently airlifted food, medicine and other supplies to areas devastated by storms, floods, earthquakes, volcanoes and other natural disasters. As PACAF entered the second decade of the 21st century, expanding theater challenges and simultaneous resource constraints have forced continuing innovation and adjustments by PACAF in order to meet mission requirements. Previously assigned four numbered air forces, PACAF downscoped to three numbered air forces in September 2012, inactivating 13th Air Force and merging its functions into PACAF. Base consolidations and infrastructure limitations have also required the Air Force and PACAF to develop increased capability while striving to remain within budgetary resource constraints. One such example has been the evaluation of alternate runways, divert fields in the Marianas since late 2011 as a backup to Anderson AFB on Guam, a process that remains ongoing as of 2014. <laughs> Lineage Established as Far East Air Forces provisional on 31 July 1944 re-established, Far East Air Forces on 3 August 1944 Activated on 3 August 1944 Redesignated, Pacific Air Command, United States Army, on 6 December 1945 Redesignated, Far East Air Forces on 1 January 1947 Redesignated Pacific Air Forces on 1 July 1957 Topic. Assignments Southwest Pacific Area, 3 August 1944 U.S. Army Forces, Pacific, 6 December 1945 United States Air Force, 26 September 1947–present Historical operational components Commands Far East Air Forces Bomber Command, Provisional, the 8th of July 1950 to the 18th of June 1954. Far East Air Forces Combat Cargo Command, Provisional, the 20th of August 1950 to the 25th of January 1951. Far East Air Materiel Command, later Far East Air Logistics Force, the 18th of August 1944 to the 1st of October 1955 Force. Japan Air Defense, the 1st of March 1952 to the 1st of September 1954 Air Forces. Fifth Air Force, the 3rd of August 1944 present. Seventh Air Force, the 14th of July 1945 to the 1st of January 1947. The 5th of January 1955 to the 1st of July 1957. The 1st of April 1966 to the 30th of June 1975. The 8th of September 1986 present. Eighth Air Force, the 6th of December 1945 to the 7th of June. 1946 11th Air Force the 9th of August 1990 present 13th Air Force the 3rd of August 1944 to the 1st of June 1955 the 1st of July 1957 to the 28th of September 2012 20th Air Force, the 6th of December 1945 to the 1st of March 1955 Air Divisions 1st Bombardment Division later 1st Air Division the 7th of June 1946 to the 1st of December 1948 2D Air Division the 10th of September to the 10th of October 1962 the 8th of July 1965 to the 1st of April 1966 17th Air Division 17 the 1st of July 1975 to the 1st of January 1976 85th Air Division the 11th of May 1945 to the 1st of September 1945 
91st Air Division, the 8th of August 1944 to the 27th of January 1946. 314th Air Division, the 18th of May 1951 to the 1st of March 1952. 315th Air Division, the 25th of January 1951 to the 15th of April 1969. 326th Air Division, the 1st of July 1957 to the 15th of February 1989. 327th Air Division, the 26th of January to the 8th of February 1966 Wings, 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, the 18th of June to the 8th of July 1964, 18th Fighter Wing, the 1st of December 1948 to the 16th of May 1949, 19th Bombardment Wing, the 16th of May to the 17th of October 1949. 27th Fighter Escort Wing, attached, 19 to 29 November 1950 and 6 to 13 October 1952. 35th Tactical Fighter Wing, the 14th of March to the 8th of April 1966. 322d Troop Carrier Wing, the 30th of December 1944 to the 15th of February 1946. Topic Stations Brisbane, Australia, the third of August nineteen forty four Hollandia, New Guinea, the sixteenth of September nineteen forty four Late, Philippines, the seventh of February nineteen forty five Tolosa, Late, Philippines, the seventeenth of February nineteen forty five Fort William McKinley, late Philippines, the 20th of March 1945. Tokyo, Japan, the 17th of May 1946. Fuchuas, Japan, the 13th of May 1956. Hikame FB, Hawaii, the 30th of June 1957 present. Topic Current operating units PACAF controls three numbered air forces NAF, which function as the senior war fighting components of the command. These are PACAF also has operational gaining command. Responsibility for several Air Reserve Component ARC units, personnel and aircraft in the Air Force Reserve Command and the Air National Guard These are Air Force Reserve Command 477th Fighter Group, Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson F-22A AFRC Associate Unit of 3D Wing 624th Regional Support Group, Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam and Anderson AFB No aircraft assigned 701st Combat Operations Squadron, March Air Reserve Base and 701st Combat Operations Squadron, DET-1 Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam No aircraft assigned Alaska Air National Guard 176th Wing, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson C 17A, C 130H, HC 130P, HC 130J, HH 60G. 168th Air Refueling Wing, Aylson Air Force Base KC 135R, Guam Air National Guard 254th Air Base Group, Anderson Air Force Base. No aircraft assigned, Hawaii Air National Guard. 154th Wing, Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. F-22A, KC-135R, C-17A. 109th Air Operations Group, Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. No aircraft assigned. 201st Combat Communications Group, Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam No aircraft assigned Missouri Air National Guard 
157th Air Operations Group, Jefferson Barracks National Guard Base No aircraft assigned See also Republic of Korea Armed Forces United States Air Force in South Korea United States Air Force in Thailand United States Army Air Forces in Australia United States Forces Korea USFK equals equals notes <laughs>